think that uh, anyone that's a fan of my band at this point will love this record. Uh, I think anyone that is a really hardcore traditional blues fan, they will like elements of this record, but they will not like the whole record. And that's exactly where I want it to be. Well, with every release, you try to change it up a little bit. And I knew that uh, with this one, I had to step it up and do something different. And, you know, a lot of artists go to L.A. or they go to Nashville to record. And I thought, this is my opportunity. I want to go to Nashville and record this record and do something different, work in a big studio with a big producer, and um, just have them bring out the best in me. Because basically, when you write your own songs and you come up with all your own arrangements, then you start to get married to your own ideas. And uh, you need, you know, a professional producer to tell you, look, this is what you need to do now. Well, the cool thing about working with Tom was that he brought songs. Uh, he co-wrote a lot of the songs with me. Uh, arrangements, he played drums on it. Um, I mean, he's the ringleader of the whole thing. One that was totally out of left field for me, um, because it's something I've never done before, was a song called If It Feels This Good Tomorrow. Um, Tom brought that to the table and he said, this is the kind of song that will push you out of your comfort zone and I went with it. It's going to be wider than just a blues record. And, um, but I think that's cool. That's cool. And, and, and blues encompasses all kinds of stuff, you know, from boogie to, to rock and roll to, you know, there's all kinds of blues. And uh, to groove to soul music, you know, it's, there's, there's a wide variety of blues on this record. Uh, I guess I call it all blues, but... Uh, it's pretty deep. Together, over and over again, we can take this ride as far as it can go. If it feels this good tomorrow. I have to say one thing about leaving Nashville is I've never had this feeling before. It's so fulfilled. I came to Nashville and I did exactly what I wanted to do. Every now and then when we play live, I see people singing the words to songs. But what I notice about these songs, before we even recorded them, we're playing them live, Sometimes by halfway through the first chorus, people were singing along to these songs. So I know we're on the right track, and uh, I've never been this excited to take the record and play these tunes live. Another one we recorded down there in Nashville. Over the years, we've had um, a lot of great artists, um, some big names, uh, including B.B. King. We've had Rush uh, in the blues world, Buddy Guy. And every time I have a key artist that I bring in, the challenge is who's going to open. And one of my go-to guys is always JW. If you do not see JW Jones perform live, you are definitely missing something because it's a brand new element there. Listening to his music on CD or iTunes or something like that, hey, that is great in itself. But to actually witness this guy perform, do yourself a favor and go.